Yo, welcome back to my channel, YouTube. It's your humble and gracious host, Stilo. I'm here to do more Chase Atlantic back by popular demand. I'm going to do Stuck in My Brain and I'm going to do Love Is Not Easy. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, right? Hope you enjoy these. You got it to 1K, so I'm back here, another one. And uh, yeah, when this hit 1K, I'll be back again. So get this 1K, I'll be back. All right, without further ado. So y'all say that as a fan base, right, that would be you, that uh, the drug use is not as bad as they portray. So it's more so like they're just storytelling and or they're trying to reach the demographic of their fan base that may be struggling with abuse. And they're like, I want to make the soundtrack for your experiences. Is that I'm guessing that's how it is. Let me know. We get sentimental about the same stuff, it's not us See the lyric coming up not long till she figures out I'm useless. That cuts deep. Yeah. No long to the blue No long till she figures out I'm useless. Say sorry that I sound like my dad. How sad, but I'm trying to make myself a better person. Pouring out the shot, make a strong one. Suffering on my thoughts, so my mind's numb. sample is that in the background anybody know let me know in the, the production it's like maybe it's just like a vocal sample or is it it's like a sample playing in the background that i don't know but it sounds dope it's adding like a layer to the record it's giving that like atmospheric type of feel like that you know i like that's how i like my like my favorite genre is like trap trap soul type of r&b alternative r&b is giving me that same type of feel you know that nighttime drive type of feel you know for someone to not be actively struggling with addiction and still make that type of record that will cut through is is kind of crazy to me I like that. I like that. I didn't have to do too much on the reactive tip. I was just trying to catch a vibe, but it's still though. I still, I still enjoyed it. Still the same. Still, still batting a high average with me. 
All right, I'm gonna call it audible. I'm gonna call it audible. I was gonna do Love Is Not Easy, but I see her as like one of the favorites of this project, so I'm gonna do that instead. Call that audible real quick. All right, let's get into her, then we'll go ahead and get up out of here. This shit sound like it's gonna be high energy, not gonna lie. You cop that expensive ass shoe and you drew on it? How much is Balenciaga's, man? Here's the thing, though. I don't know. Y'all can tell me if y'all at concerts, at least add a disclaimer or something or point me to an interview where we're like, drugs are very, you know, I guess you don't have to. You do, I, you technically don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You could mark it as the under the under the, the guise or the umbrella of uh, interpretive art. Right. But damn. Every record I've heard with Chase is drugs. Like intense though, like intense, like addiction type type situation. And while I'm not uncomfortable, the only reason why I'm not uncomfortable because a large amount of people have told me that like it's not really as um a problem as much of a problem as I think it is. But still though, like at least I, I want to say like at least put like well you know drugs is bad, but you you don't have to like why. Why give that? Why give this artist the responsibility of having to do that on their songs when other artists don't have to have to have that same responsibility? So I'm kind of torn. I'm still very torn. I think I'm as torn as I was when I first heard the the repeated mention of drug use. But I still think the records are hard, though. I just I do it like future. Like I just not, not in my head. Like I don't know what's going on, but the shit hard. I like the melody though. That's a lot of damage. very happy I picked this record to do I, I'm, I really I really enjoy this one That music, that's that numb music. I'm talking about fresh out the dentist chair. 
type numb. I think it's very predictive of like when it comes to me, if you're maybe you've come to my channel, you see a bunch of Chase Atlantic reactions. I think it's very predictive that I'm, I'm probably going to like it, but like I'm still, I think I'm going to do more in asking questions. I could do the research on my own, but it, it takes away from the engagement and the interactive factor. Since I don't do these live, the reason why I do uh, ask you questions is because of like I can talk to you. Like I, you know, you, I, I know you know I have the same access to information as you do, right? Unless you're an insider for Chase Atlantic, then that may be a little differently. If you know them personally and you're getting your information from the source, that's that's different. But all of us, pretty much for the most part, are have secondhand sources. So I can easily go on Google and inform myself and watch videos and watch interviews. But like, it makes it better when I can hear from you and then I can speak back in real time in the comment box because that's the only interaction that I have. So, but I say all that to say that. I think sonically, I'm going to like a majority of the Chase Atlantic records because they just are so similar sonically to what I already like from contemporary music right now, at least contemporary popular culture in terms of hip hop um, and, and the blending of the atmospheric type of elements. Uh, I think that's going to be a given on that front. So I think I'm going to do more and just peeling back the layers of the songwriting going forward. So if you click on these, I think you should expect I'm going to like it. Uh, I don't think it'll be ever be like, oh, unless they completely um, take a detour from their sonics and their usual songwriting. Maybe it could be like, oh, I could see you recommending that maybe in the future. Like, this is different than what they usually do. Stilo, do that one. And then I'm like, okay, so it won't be as predictive or as predictable uh, of whether or not I'm going to like it or not. But like going forward, I'll probably just make a note to like ask y'all more questions about the songwriting. And the topic and the choice of the matter and a little bit more. See what y'all know. See how see how strong of a fan base Chase Atlantic is. I'm gonna go ahead and get a fat here. Hope you enjoy this. I enjoy your company. Thank you for recommending these. Thank you for watching these. Once this gets to a thousand, I'll be right back with you. Until next time. Love y'all. Stilo. Sweet.